I learn a lot from Matt, and I hope you learn a lot from me, and I hope you'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs>、hey, hey, hey, plumbing pros, welcome to the 420th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, this is a fun one. Of course,、mm-hmm. they're all fun, but this one's really going to be fun because we're going to introduce you to a couple cool cats、mm-hmm. who are starting a new podcast、mm-hmm. specifically for tradesmen. That's right. All right. On the MDP. TV, <laughs> all right. So they're,、yes. they're associated. Yes, they're associated with MDP. But the name of the podcast is Coach's Corner.、Mm-hmm. Okay, a lot of fun. It's cool. A lot of、uh, nuggets of gold. Absolutely.、Um, we're just、um, excited for you to get to know them here. In fact, let's let's get them on here. All right. Here's、uh, Matt and Tony、mm-hmm. of Coach's Corner. All right, as promised. Hey, we have Matt Baldwin and Tony Wally here. Hey guys, it's so good to see you guys. How you guys doing? Doing great, man. How are you? We're feeling great here. We're great. We're so excited to have you guys here, and we're so excited、yeah. for the launch of the new podcast in the MDP MDP TV, as Richard's calling MDP, MDP TV. TV.、Um, Coach's Corner, where Matt Baldwin and Tony Waller they are your esteemed hosts for that podcast. Right. So I'm I'm so excited for the Potty Talk audience to to get to know you guys to to introduce you guys guys. These these are cool cats. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Of course, they're you know in the trades. They're doing. They're running their businesses. All right. They're also smart guys. They're pretty smart. Okay. They may not look it, but they. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know I don't know about esteemed, but we'll definitely be the host. I don't know that I've ever been called esteemed, but I love. Well, you have、talking. now. You have now.、So. <laughs> now, yeah, I should. I just be careful here because you know Matt. He's a Jersey boy.、Mm-hmm. Okay, in person, I may not say that because he he'd whack me. He probably、there. knows people. He knows people, he, right? He knows a guy. Now,、so. now Tony, he looks like. A nice guy, but he's a guy I wouldn't want to tick off. Yeah, all right, he's a teddy bear.、Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, it depends hey, on what day it is, I guess. <laughs> and if it's your employee or if it's yeah, we're、good. back. We we're just talking in the green room, ready on this. Yeah, yeah. Tony, I guess you had to lay the law down with your guys, which happens. It you know, happens. It, it happens.、Yes. Yeah, and Matt here, he's all over the place today. I mean, he's he's running multiple <laughs> things going on at one time. You know, the the life of a life of a、so, business mogul. So we'll get into that. Hey, I, I want the guys to get a feel for you. Okay, I want want the <clears> audience <throat> to get get a feel for you guys here because、uh, you got you know we, we know you. But how how do you guys get started in the trades? So the, just so we can assure the audience, you guys are trades guys. Right. All right.、Yeah. So、start start with you, Tony. Well, I was at <clears throat> my first year of college, and I was away. And I was talking to one of my friends who her dad was a plumber and owned a plumbing company, and it didn't really matter what type of company. I just needed a summer job, and、yeah. I said, "When I get home from from school, I need a summer job." And she said, "Okay, I'll ask my dad." And、uh, I, I was back home a couple weeks later, and、uh, <laughs> her dad called, and I knew him, and he's like, "Hey, man, did you uh did you throw a rock at my truck the other day?" <laughs> Man, what are you talking about?、Right. He's like, no, I'm just kidding, man. You want to come to work for me? And I was like, yeah,、right. yeah dude, great.、Right. So that's how I got into plumbing. Okay, so <laughs> fell into plumbing. Wow. All right. Yeah. Going to rock at a truck. All right. We're、yeah. being accused of. I'm so glad it was plumbing and not something else, because here I am, 45 <laughs> years old. That was when I was 18. Man,、yeah. so long. He's been in the trade. So yeah. You. So you've been yeah.、Mm-hmm. So you yeah. You've been in for a while. How about how about you, Matt? Uh, third generation. Enough said, right? Um, okay, yeah, the the apple doesn't fall far from the tree.、Um, tried to go to college, wasn't for me, and、yep. ultimately wound up back in Blumen. There you、uh, are. So, so here we are.、Yep. All right. Yeah, and it's been very, very good to me.、Mm-hmm. All right. At least so, the last two years, it has. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's been very good, bad too along the way. Yes. <laughs> good segue. So yeah, that is a good segue. So we could we all experience that、mm. until we learned, okay, that we didn't know something and we we sought something out. In this case, you guys have gone through the MDP process. All right. So, so much so, and being so successful that they are now cert- MDP certified coaches, right? Right. And coach others on、um, how on, to on, on the process、yes. and, and that kind of a thing.、Mm-hmm. So how did so so Tony? How did、um, You know, how did MVP affect you, or or what was something you, you know? You, obviously, it was good to you, but what was, was something that hit you? Yeah, it was very good to me, and and I will say that you can do business wrong for a long time, and you can you can tread water for a long time,、um, and I think a lot of people do that. <clears throat> a lot of people that I talk to in the Success Academy, they can make it, but they're barely making it. And、um, when I went from Barely making it, and then I started making that one eighty to 
after I found you guys, and I've told the story before on podcasts. I know that um, that we have limited amount of time, but when I found you guys and started doing things the right way, I just started becoming successful at a, a very fast rate. Whereas before, for fourteen years, we did have success, but it just wasn't the type of success that a business, a, a bona fide business owner that knows how to conduct business in the right way was doing. So yeah. I just felt like, you know, when I, when the opportunity came to be a, to be a coach, if I can just give back and and teach somebody something to, to steer them away from a lot of the mistakes that I made for the, over the, you know, a 14 year span, man, I'm all for it. That, that would be my, my why. That's your heart there. Yes, and I okay. love, thank, thanks for sharing that. And, um, yeah, because we, we see that all the time. Because here's a case, because uh, these guys are, you know, I don't joke about, you guys are sharp, okay? And so is a lot of guys in the academy. So it's not about whether or not, you know, you're a sharp tool or a dull tool, you know? it's But it's just not knowing something, right? right? And so here you were experiencing success. Business of 14 years. Right. You have a business that lasts 14, 14 years. years. You're, you're <laughs> successful. Success, right. But it wasn't right. at the level or you weren't creating what you wanted to create. Right. Wow. I couldn't create the freedom that I needed. You know, we talked to before about when you go into business, you think you're just going to have all this free time and you can make whatever decisions that you want. And then you end up having a bunch more bosses that you have to answer to. And you guys provide a way through the Success Academy to not have to go through that, to 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 really be your own boss. And that's what I love so much. <laughs> right. Which you're you're part of that now and you're you're sharing that as well. Right. You know, because yeah. because you're a coach. Hey, what about you, Matt? Um, I, what hasn't it done? Uh, it's kind of hard to summarize here in a few minutes, but, uh, you know, it, it's given us freedom, uh, financially it's given us freedom of time. Um, it's given us freedom to travel with our kids. Um, and now it's given us the freedom to be able to, like Tony said, you know, try and just help someone not have to go through all of the same pain. They're going to go through some of them but not have to go through yeah. all of the same pain points that we did to get to where we are today. Yeah. And well, I what, love, oh, can yeah. I ask what, like, what was your business like before? You know, Tony mentioned that he'd been in business for 14 years, mm -hmm. which has never seemed to get ahead. Right. What, what was, you know, kind of a, a synopsis of what your business was before? Yeah. So we, uh, we were in business for three years before we found MVP, a little over three years. Um, and hey, I knew for, that I wanted to point that out, big guy. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> point what out? <laughs> well, there's a difference in of 11 years and how long it took you and how long it took me. So <laughs> thank you for that. Well, yeah, there's, you know, but there's also a 12 year age gap. So, um, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> all right. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. So, uh, we, um, I, I knew that I wanted to scale and I knew that I wanted to build this thing so that I had those freedoms that I spoke about. Uh, but just didn't know how, didn't have the systems, didn't have anything really. And I, I had gotten all the way up to four trucks at one point. Um, and I had to tear it all back down because there, it was just chaos. It was absolute chaos. There was no way to manage hours. There was no way to manage timesheets. There was no way to manage the guys. Um, so, you know, and then, you know, I tore it back down and we were back down to two trucks and then I accidentally found potty talk <laughs> Um, which is actually kind of a funny story. You know, a lot of people follow Richard for a while on YouTube or whatever, before they actually buy into this thing. Um, I was listening to a podcast. It was actually like a plumbing related podcast where they talk about tools and stuff like that. Cause I was very much still in the truck and, uh, you couldn't pay me to listen to it now, but I was all caught up on all the episodes. And, uh, so I just typed plumbing into my Apple podcast app and potty talk came up. Um, and I was like, all right, I'll listen to this. And I listened to like three or four episodes. I'm like, wow, I am doing everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this makes sense. Well, that is, that's it. that is our, our job is to point out everything. All you guys are doing wrong. That That is our. <laughs> and that's because I made all those wrong mistakes. Okay? Them all, plus and, that, them. and that's what I love the hearts of you guys. Cause that, that is the MDP heart. Um, not only being sharp, first of these, both these guys are sharp, but like with Matt, I love, you know, Matt looking at him, but this, this guy's a numbers and systems guy. 
Mm-hmm. So here's a, I mean, I mean, you, you just pragmatic and right, yeah. almost afraid, you know, you know, stuff I don't know, right? <laughs> right, 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 you know, and it's, um, and so, but you didn't know, you know, just the, the business of, of plumbing, right? And that kind of a thing. So we're a lot there. And I, and I love both your hearts in that, uh, of course, you're, you're sharp. But you want to give back. You don't want others to go through the same, you know, the same kind of pains. All right, and that. and that's really what what the heart of MVP is all about. Mm-hmm. So, and so, yeah, your blessing. You know, I'm really you know, grateful that you guys are, you know, wanted to come on board and coach and to give back. Yeah. So, um, well, we you, appreciate y'all too. You, you make us look good. That's right. <laughs> and now, willing to do, start a podcast. Now, right? starting a podcast. Mm-hmm. Right, coaches. Yeah, that's corner. the easy part. Right, that's right, the easy right. part we could talk yeah. for hours and hours and days about the, the things we've done wrong and i can hear it i can hear it all day from matt about oh man you, you suck man you're really- <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what's happening you got well, you did tell that how you, right, you did right. that that was stupid that was stupid well, i didn't do that <laughs> thank god you guys are here you can save me from the tor- the torture <laughs> okay. well, I, I know they could segue. So what, what are some of the things you guys are going to cover um, on Coach's Corner? What, what are some topics you're going to discuss? Who are you really talking to, right? Who's, who's, the, who's the perfect person to listen to you guys' podcast and, and all the topics that you're going to talk about? Well, I would say the, the, the guys that are just starting out up through, what do we have now, Matt? Nine, eight, nine trucks, all the way from start all the way up through the the completion of the success academy really and and even and even further than some but a lot of times it just depends on what we're going through that day <clears throat> because we're still involved in our businesses even though we don't have to be we have systems in place but we still we still go and check in and we are involved in the businesses and man it can range from hiring employees firing employees getting employees to buy into the system that we've created and then do it all over again. Because like we were just talking in the green room, Richard, it, it you can, you have to pick which fire you're going to fight that yeah. day. So it just depends. It's all over the place, but everything we cover, it, you, I learn a lot from Matt and I hope you learn a lot from me. And I hope you'll admit that. <laughs> <laughs> It just depends on what day it is. On camera? Yeah. (laughs) No, obviously, I learned a lot from Tony, too, especially because, like I said, you know, he's so much older than me that, you know, there there is. Oh, man. I love you. There is. No, but there is a lot of life experience there um, of owning a business, of of being a husband and a father while owning a business. Um, You know, like I said, I, I was in business for three years. Before we found MDP, we just celebrated five years in business now um, in January. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily have to go through that maybe he did, right? Like, <clears throat> yeah. I was never doing pen and paper invoices. Um, you know, like that's something that he had to do. I I wasn't running a plumbing business before they had cell phones. You know, that's something that Tony had to do. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It seems crazy at this point, doesn't it? It was back when Tony, yeah. they were chipping on rock, right, Tony? You know? yeah. Like, yeah, like, the, like the Flintstones. Yeah. I just, yeah. you know, the hits just keep coming. Laura, okay, right. are you, whose side are you on? <laughs> no, Can you please be on my side? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Tony, I'm always on your side. So I'm on you. mats. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Well, I, I've had the privilege of listening. You know, I know you, we work on, you know, on, on the podcast. And, you know, and I, I feel so grateful you guys are going to be part of, you know, the MDP system, um, MDP TV. And, um, you know, so I've listened to a couple as we, we prep this. And what I love about the style, guys, and how you're going to listen to it, I love it's like a, I you know, use Joe Rogan. You know, what I like about Joe Rogan, you know, potty talk, you know, if you if our episodes, usually, you know, I'm giving three, three pointers and, you know, it's a little thing. It's not much of a discussion. And I agree with everything. And, and my the lovely Laura agrees with everything and she makes me look good <laughs> and sound good and, and intelligent. Real human. <laughs> and she reels me in. So it's a little different, different thing. But with you guys, what I like of the style is that Joe Rogan style of just, you know, you're talking about topics and just like what you said, it could be anything that's happening that others are even experiencing that, right. that, you know, well, it's one thing I want to say forth. Yeah. One thing I like is you guys are still in it, right? It's yeah. been years since we've had our plumbing business. We still, you know, remember co- quite a bit, but you guys are still in the thick of it. You know, Tony, you're, like you said, you had to kind of have a, a come to Jesus meeting with, with some of your employees. So you're still in the fight. You're still learning the new technologies or implementing the new technologies or, or you know, updating systems or, or whatever it might be. That's, that's one thing I really like about, um, 
these yeah. guys doing yeah, that. Yeah, you're on the so battlefield still. On the battlefield. That's right. that's one way to, to put it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and one thing that I would add is that, <clears throat> excuse me, we laugh and joke around and we kind of uh, rib each other, but we do get very serious sometimes because yeah. we, we know that these situations can feel like almost like the end of the world or, or life and death type situations. For the business, they can be life and death situations. So we do mix some, you know, humor with serious uh, solutions to what you're going to what you're going through because we we can get very serious and very um solution based and matt is very um like you said richard very numbers oriented it's, he doesn't make emotional decisions he makes numbers based on analytical thought and data but we also are able to kind of i mean if it was all analytical it would be you probably wouldn't stay around and listen very long, but right. mm-hmm. there are, we are solution based. It just, we just kind of, you may as well laugh because sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's interesting to me too, you know, how we end up getting to things, you know, like we recently just started recording like a four part series for the podcast and we didn't realize till we were about 30 minutes into the first episode that it was going to be a four part series about yeah. the specific topic we were talking about. Yeah. Um, me and him both struggle with staying on task at times. <laughs> um, so it kind of goes off into these rabbit holes. And that's where you find those nuggets of gold that Richard likes yes. to talk about. Uh, because it's something that we didn't plan to talk about. And it really just becomes a conversation between me and Tony. Um, and, you know, what, what's so special about the Coach's Corner to me is how close me and Tony have become through MDP. Um, going through this and, you know, not only building our businesses, but building a relationship where, you know, we, we saw each other five times last year um, and he's in Mobile, Alabama and I'm in New Jersey. Um, so we're, we're pretty far away from each other, but you know, we went down to visit him. He came to visit us. We met halfway um, and our families have become really good friends. Um, so we have a level of comfort when we're talking to each other um, that really allows us to kind of dive deep into things. And that's where those nuggets of gold come from. Yes. And I love that. Again, there is an age difference. I'm not going to say what it is, whatever. Uh, but there's an age difference, right? And there's an experience difference, right? Um, and so those two different um, perspectives are is, is going to be a huge part of Coach's Corner. And you guys are good friends, and which is just so, yeah. so crazy, not crazy, but it's just so unique, right? Because your personalities are, are so very different. And you come from very different backgrounds and very different areas, all of that. But through and the MDP community, you guys just became so super close. And like you've said, your, your families are close, you know, your, your kids, you know, you hang out and you bring your kids and all of that. That's one thing that has just always surprised us about um, MDP was the closeness that, that you, the relationships that you can get from this because it's like-minded, right? Just like you guys are going to be sharing in the podcast, you, you guys are going through the crap too, right? Just because, you know, you guys are, you know, successful and doing all the right things now, Stuff still hits the fan, right, Tony? I mean, it just happened to you, right? Absolutely. And so you'll be able to 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 relate and and feel. I think they'll feel. Um, the listeners are going to feel exactly what you're going through because you're you're right in it, as opposed to us. You know, it's been you know eight nine years. You know, past. exactly. Mm-hmm. And what I like too, what you guys are bringing is your willingness to speak to men mm-hmm. and these other topics. So so how do I how do I grow? And these guys are competitive. I know they both said. You know, we're, we're dealing with alpha males here. I mean, this is pro pro sports. I mean, this is this is pro ball, okay? And so these guys are on the field to win. So it's there. They have their different personalities, but they're going to hit you. Okay? <laughs> but, and so I like that you bring that because, I, you know, we, we want to feel that. But your willingness to speak to men, to lift men up, um, to speak, okay, how do we become not only better at, at our businesses, but uh, better better fathers, okay, better husbands, Okay. Uh, better men in our society. So I've heard you speak, you know, so you're, you're throwing stuff out there like that. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, Matt, chat a little bit about that. Cause I know, you know, that that's definitely both of your hearts, but Matt, you, you know, we've talked to you more about that is that, you know, you do want to, to make an impact not only on their businesses, because that's important because that spills into family life and all the thing, but mm-hmm. more importantly, the business isn't the most important, right? No, the business is the, the least important when you boil down life, right? Like, yep. you know, uh, and you know, 
Automate your company's day-to-day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Field Pulse, the game-changing field management power tool that thousands of businesses just like yours are switching to. Field Pulse makes it easy to bring order to your daily chaos. No more struggling to keep track of your customers, jobs you got going on, or where your guys are at. Field Pulse is the perfect solution for helping you to organize your business, save time, and my favorite part, increase revenue. And with its mobile app, you can access Field Pulse's powerful features to run your business from literally anywhere in the world. Throw in QuickBooks integration, award-winning support, and plans starting at just $60 per user, it's simply a no-brainer. I love Field Pulse, and I know you will too. To learn more and to schedule a free live demo, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Field Pulse and see why plumbing pros everywhere are making the switch to Field Pulse. Uh... I, it, it stems from what you guys have given to us, right? Mm-hmm. What we've gotten from Richard and Laura and from the MDP system is that we've gotten a better marriage. We've become better fathers. Um, you know, we've become better parts of our community, whether that be the town, that, the people that, in the town that you serve or your church or whatever that is, you become a better version of you. Um, and, you know, through the process, I kind of, I became very good at becoming uh, a plumbing business owner, right? Yeah. You become very, very good at that. But I also, uh, I'm of the philosophy that you should be getting 1% better at all aspects of your life every day. Um, so yeah, uh-huh. I, I I have dived, you know, I, I went through obviously the 12 modules. You guys asked me to be a coach. Um, and then I, I immediately went into like the personal development side as well, because I want to be the best version of that I can be in all aspects of my life. Right. I love that. And you're bringing that and willing to share that. And that's why, you know, again, I'm, I love that Coach's Corner is going to bring to the MDP community mm-hmm. is not only to the business side of things, but, um, and, you know, the guy thing, you know, just being better men, you know, all the way around. Boy, we you know, sure need that yes. these days. And so and that's another thing I'm just really excited about. Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner. Yes. Yeah. So what what do you hope someone gets out of it? So they're going to listen to your podcast, right? Um, and there are always going to be different topics, all the things. But what's something that you hope, um, Tony, that when, when someone's done listening to the podcast, they what are they getting out of it? Well, that they're not alone. Mm-hmm. And really, sometimes the only thing holding you back is you. And when you see other people do things, you know, like the, the guy that broke the four-minute mile, Roger Bannister, yeah. for, for years and years and years, Nobody could break that four minute mile, but as soon as he broke it, then people just started coming after him. And that's really what, at least what we talk about, if, if somebody can just realize that they're not in it alone and they are going through the same struggles that we've been through and we're not insulated, we'll go through them again. I mean, we, we lose important people that are crucial to our businesses and we have to pick up and move on. We, we're super busy one week or one month and then things drop off and you feel, you know, Matt and I talk about it in one of the, one of the episodes that are already um, in places that, you know, I thought we were going to be busy forever. And then you realize that you're not any different than any other business that goes through this in plumbing or any home service really. And we talk about the things you can do to better prepare yourself also for those pitfalls that are, that are coming down the pipe and, you know, maybe start a community out of it and, a positive community, not a community that just is fearful of everything around the corner. Okay. You know, you can get through it because we're all, we're still in it, me and Matt. And I'm 45, by the way. How old are you? <laughs> I don't uh, want people I'm... thinking I'm 75. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said there was 12 years difference. So maybe yeah, it's but you look I'm, older I'm 30. Than you are, I'm so 30. <laughs> no, I'm 33. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, babies. Yeah, still both babies. Oh, still. Uh, well, not not uh, Tony so much. <laughs> oh, man. That's bad. Sorry, yep. Tony. Now now I got Richard in on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh... oh Tony's shoulders are big enough. Well, hey Matt, finish it up on what what do you hope? What what's your your answer to that, to, to Laura's question? Um so a lot of what Tony said, uh, you know. I'm I'm really looking I like he said before, you know, I'm pretty pragmatic. So a lot of the episodes tend to be, you know, Tony's gonna kind of pose a subject or an issue. Um, and I kind of gotta, yeah, you know, I'm I'm blessed that my mind can think through those things very quick. Um, and I could kind of give a little bit of a solution to that, right? So 
I'm, I'm coming at this from an angle of I want to give you a solution to problems that you're facing right now or you're going to face at some point if you're following this system. Um, and, and then the tangible, right? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. selfishly, you know, just want to show them why MDP is the best, right? There's copycats <clears throat> out there. We know there's copycats out there. Or but, stealers, thieves, well, there's those two. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Whatever, you, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we are the best. Uh, uh, we're the best because we're the we're the OGs, right? Richard is the OG. Um, <laughs> like he said, Roger Thank Bannister, you. he's the one that broke that four minute mile. No one knows anybody's name who came after him, right? That's um, so true. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. It's true. No, thank you for that. Thank you that. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you guys. You know, I'm so excited that you I guys know. are willing to to be out there, um, gang. You, you're gonna want to check out Coach's Corner. In fact, my fear is you won't want to listen to potty talk anymore because Coach's <laughs> Corner is so good, <laughs> which, is, which is cool. I want the best. You, and that's our heart anyways. I, we, we want everyone MDP. And I know you guys feel the same way. We want everyone that comes in to be bigger, badder, better than than what we are, right? And, uh, you know, that that's our heart. And these guys really are bigger, badder, and better, all right? And, and you're going to love listening to them. They're going to be nuggets of gold. And guys, and yep, and and fun, and right? Fun. So, yeah, entertaining. So yeah. check them out, Coach's it's, Corner. Okay, it's on, it'll be on your on the YouTube channel. It'll also again be listed in the um, different podcast platforms um, right along with with Potty Talk. So you don't have to look far; it'll be right there. All right, mm -hmm. enjoy them. All yeah. right, guys. Hey, appreciate Looking you guys. Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner. All uh, right. Weekly, too. Forgot to mention that. It is released weekly. So, yeah, guys, we're super excited about it. We know you're going to do great. And when we're just, we're honored to have you part of the MDP family. That's right. Well, thank you for the opportunity, for sure. You got it, guys. Yes. Our pleasure. Yeah, All we're right. honored. Hey, we'll get back at our days here. Go get them. I know both of you are busy. All right. I'll talk have to you another time. Right, Take thanks, care. All right. Guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. All right, there we go. The coach's corner. I know. Okay. It's going to uh, be so fun. We're super excited to have them a part of the MDP team um, and just bringing um, just more nuggets of gold and, and more information and, and serving our community um, in the way we, we know they're going to. So they're just, uh, you know, I call them a couple of cool cats. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, they, they are coaches for MDP and mm -hmm. come up through the system you know, right. and all that kind of stuff. In mm -hmm. fact, you know, their clients, you know, love them. I mean, they're great. I love that they've decided to do, you know, those podcasts. And, I, and I've heard, uh, you know, I've already heard and seen a couple of the episodes that we got in the can as we, you know, just being introduced. And it's just, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. You know, it's, it's but informative. Not, but very informative. Very informative. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a um, little different taste than here at Potty Talk. Mm -hmm. we, we love you here at Potty, Potty Talk and we hope you enjoy this. But the, the, it has a little different flavor, mm -hmm. of course, you know. Um, but a lot of fun, very informative. Um, you're going to want to check it out. Yes. Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. All right. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>